Hi, welcome to One Word a Day. I'm Sophie, your pilot into the universe of Chinese. We're going to continue our summer special edition of talking about one single Chinese character a day instead of one Chinese set phrase. That's normally three, four, five characters. Okay, today one single fortunate lucky word is mo. Okay, mo. This is a contemporary rendering, and when I was looking at at it, because it branded into my brain as dream directly. I never like unpack it like why there's a forest and then there is this evening symbol. Why evening forest means dream? It doesn't really make sense. Um, I never questioned it. <laughs> okay, so I'm fortunate to look at the character again, go to back through history to the origin, like a traditional Chinese to give me more clues how it's formed. And it's a complicated character. You can see it's it got many different parts and I try to unpack it for you as much as I can. Okay, we have a bed that looks like this. And I guess this is related to how the bed um, as a furniture back then was formed. It gotta have the feet kind of, uh, you know, stable stand at the very end so it doesn't shake <laughs> okay i don't know <laughs> that's chinese bed uh frame so when we, whenever we see this symbol that means something related to bed and you can see eh, it's not exactly bad right i'm not sure if this thing is actually related to bed but the bed frame in um in the original bed form has the wood symbol because the wood was the main material to make bed furniture. I mean, furniture back then, mostly made of wood. So um, naturally it got a wood. And probably that's why the contemporary Chinese got this wood wood in there that made a forest, but it lost its origin of the bed frame um, back then. So this is bed symbol. And then we have dim. So dim made out of the eyeball. You can see two versions of eyeball. This is one original, like a more original realistic drawing of the eyeball. It's kind of oval shape, elongated uh, oval shape eyeball. But it's too much work for language to communicate to, to write, right? Efficiency wise, it's not ideal. So eventually you gotta abstract it into just oval with diagonal lines or oval with horizontal lines it's same idea. This is this means the border of the eyeball, the, the iris of the eyeball and the whiteness of the eyeball. So this is the borderline of that. And eventually got abstract like that. So this symbol means eyes that are looking at things in a dim light so that you cannot exactly see what's going on. It's like bad vision time. And I guess this, this got some blocking in front of the eye and this even like the eye was wrapped inside um supposedly domestic space so if you're inside in-house you don't exactly know what's going on in the field so this means you don't have a clear vision of something happening and you can see this compared with a dream character it's very close except that this second eyeball was switched out by this crescent moon shape. So this shape is a description, almost like um crescent moon, but here this elongated, I view it as almost like the glow from the moon uh, or the moon through the cloud. So it's kind of aesthetically pleasing. It's not just this crescent shape itself. It got a little tail uh, or surroundings next to it. But in any case, this means the moon. And now we have this blurry eyed. And at nighttime, I'm probably related to like a contemporary ones showing this wood framed bed. So that means Timing is nighttime. Location is in the bedroom or on the bed. And then result is you have a blurry eyed vision and that describes the environment, where, when, and how, how it looks, right? All that uh, symptoms or mm, 
the description, the settings, the conditions when dreams occur. Uh, and so when, uh, when uh, non-literate people look at this character, they probably have a good, better chance of figuring out what that icon was talking about. But like me, contemporary Chinese user, I couldn't make the connection why this forest and evening. I mean, only the evening, evening makes sense, right? Because it occur mostly in nighttime. It's a night dream, not daydream we we're talking about. But but what forests have to do over there? So it's actually bad rain happening in the evening. And we have this blurry eye, um, icon completely lost in contemporary version. So this blurry eye is a key thing. It's not necessarily a nighttime in bed you're going to have a dream, right? So when you have this blurry eyed vision, uh, then that's when dream is happening inside your brain as if you're looking through something that's not clearly seen. Okay, so we see both this character then became quite specific. It's talking about this phenomenon of dreaming. Right, and then it can, of course, be used both by noun, as noun and verb. So we have this, and I translate what is dream, it means night vision, <laughs> which is bad vision, it's blurry vision, it's a dream that you look at the world or what's happening in your brain, the made up story in your brain uh, with a blurry eye that you cannot see clearly what's happening. That's how it feels when you're in a dream. So there we go, dream, night vision. Mo, okay, cash into the currency of thinking about one word a day with Sophie. See you next.